Hey everyone, today we're going to make some butter mayo buns. Perfect for BBBE, carnivore, and keto. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes, other cooking ideas. These ideas and recipes have helped me to lose over 125 pounds. I hope you check out my website, some of my other videos. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's video. Okay, so today I am going to make some butter mayo buns. I will explain the buns when we get to that part, but in order to make butter mayo buns, first I need some butter mayo. And so that is the first thing I am going to do. This butter mayo recipe is from the Two Crazy Ketos. That is where I learned about it. I will link that recipe or that video below uh, from their YouTube channel. Um, and I'm doing, a, I'm doing a few tweaks today to make it kind of uh, pliable for this recipe that I'm doing to make buns with it. So um, it'll all unfold as it unfolds. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is tell you what is in it. I'm only making a half recipe. Um, so just keep that in mind if you go and, and check out their channel and how they make the mayo. So I have a half a cup butter in here. Sorry. I am using two egg yolks. I'm using a teaspoon of Dijon and just make sure it doesn't have sugar or anything else in it. I have this um, wedge of lemon that is screaming to be used up. It has seen better days, but I don't think anyone will notice in the mayonnaise. And a little bit of salt. Uh, I think I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon salt. And that's it for the, for the mayo. So I'm just going to melt the butter in the microwave and be right back. Okay, I have got the melted butter. So about the melted butter, I just wanted to mention that if you are one of those people that are unsure about using raw eggs in your recipes, if you uh, heat this up and take the temperature, um, 160 degrees is where you want it to be. It'll pasteurize your raw egg yolks that are going in. Um, I just thought I'd mention that. I'm, I'm not squeamish about it for myself personally, so I'm, I don't bother, uh, but it is something that you can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is whip up the two egg yolks. We want this to be nice and fluffy before we start adding any of the butter. So you want to whip that until it reaches a lighter color, which it has. So I'm going to put the rest of my ingredients in. I'm going to put the quarter teaspoon of Redmond's Real Salt. And I want a teaspoon of Dijon. I'm going to uh, squeeze the lemon juice out of this. Uh, you're looking for about a teaspoon. Uh, the last time I made it, I added apple cider vinegar, but I decided to try it with the lemon this time. I'm also, and this, so there's a couple of things that are different from the Two Crazy Keto's uh, butter mayo. I started off with two egg yolks. Um, they, in their full recipe, they use two egg yolks, but I've doubled the egg yolks, so that's one difference. And the other thing is I'm adding some hot water. I was given this tip by somebody in my Facebook group. I, I added about a tablespoon and a half there. Um, somebody in my Facebook group, I think it was Melissa, um, said to add the hot water, it's more spreadable. Now I had done this before, except for I used some avocado oil or uh, MCT oil. Those work as well, but then they're no longer uh, BBBE compatible. If you're just doing keto or carnivore or, or, well, just keto and you don't care, go ahead with the oils, but uh, we've got water in here. So I'm gonna just whip this up a bit more. I'm going to start adding the butter very slowly. I'm 
All right. So what the way it looks right now, it is almost like a salad dressing. You can see it's it's runnier than what you think it should be, but it's going to go into the fridge and in an hour or so, it should be set up like mayonnaise. And then we are going to come back in, in to the counter here and make the butter mayo buns. So we'll see you in the next segment. Okay, we're back. The mayo has been in the fridge for an hour. It's thickened up quite a bit. I took three tablespoons out of the big jar and put it in this small jar um, because I noticed it was thickening up around the edges and the middle is still a little soft. It really should be in there for like three or four hours, but I have some of the, you know, the uh, edge parts that were already thickening up. So that should be good enough for what we need for the buns. I have, so this is three tablespoons butter mayo. I'm going to put the rest back in the fridge to continue to set up. Um, so before I go any further though, what is this recipe? I know that a lot of you who have been around for a while, especially if you are from the uh, Atkins era, like that's where I started. First time I ever heard of low carb was back in the 70s, good old Dr. Atkins. And then I tried again in the 90s um, with low carb. And if you remember back then, everybody was making cloud bread and cloud bread is basically um, egg whites uh, folded, you fold it in with some cream cheese and some uh, your egg yolks. And so there is no cream cheese, of course, on BBBE. But then I remembered I made a special version back in 2018. I made egg fast cloud bread. So it was basically the same recipe, except that I substituted mayo for the cream cheese. And this recipe is right off my blog. You can print out the instructions. After I published this recipe, it caught the attention of Women's World magazine in May of 2019. They asked, they contacted me and asked me if they could put it in their article, which they had written about the egg fast. And there's my recipe and my 15 minutes of fame mentioned in the little column here with the cloud bread. So, so that was, that was great, but I kind of forgot all about that recipe and I was trying to think the other day, well, what sort of things can I have on those days when I like to do BBBE? A lot of people are doing BBBE right now. And I thought butter mayo. I remembered about the butter mayo. So I am going to make the egg fast cloud bread with butter mayo. I have no idea if it's going to work. I don't see why it shouldn't. I mean, it is so much like mayo. It's really, uh, it, sh it should totally work. So I have the oven set to 300 and I have some Redmond salt, such a simple recipe. It, this, if, if this works, this is a little bun, like a light airy bun that is 100% BBBE compliant. You don't have to worry about extra ingredients, all that stuff. It should work and uh, let's hope it does. <laughs> um, anyways, so I have three eggs. I have separated the uh, egg whites. They are in here. The egg yolks are in this separate bowl and my three tablespoons of butter mayo is in there. And before I start whipping that up, actually I'm going to do it. I'm going to start whipping this up because this takes a couple minutes. So I'm going to put this on high and while that is whipping I'm going to combine my mayo with the three egg yolks and then we will be combining them together and and the pinch of salt I'll throw in there too. Now you could put a pinch of cream of tartar in there if you live in a high humidity area. Um, I, I never bother with it um, but if 
you know, if you have trouble getting your egg white whites to whip up, then by all means, maybe like a quarter teaspoon at most. Um, so I'm going to start whipping. It's going to be loud, but you'll see me doing these other things that I said I was going to do. This is pretty stiff. Okay, so when you um, beat these egg whites, they need to be really stiff. They, they need to like not slide out of the bowl. So, I mean, that's sliding out because it came off the, the thing, but, I, but the rest of it has to be super stiff. So I have beaten my, my uh, mayo, my butter mayo here with the uh, egg yolks. And now the job is to gently incorporate this into that and make our cloud bread or BBBE cloud bread. Okay, you don't want to work it too much because then, you know, it'll all turn to liquid. So then it's just a matter of dividing it up into six, uh, Pieces. You could free form this on some parchment paper if you don't have these, uh, these things here. Now what I remember from my Atkins days and my egg fast days is that cloud bread was kind of the only bread that we were always talking about back then and that's what we used for egg sandwiches or the um, hamburger buns or whatever. So I'm just going to spread them a bit. And I know that some people did put them in or put a little bit of baking powder in. Um, I always chose not to, but you certainly could. It'll make them rise a little bit better if you're not opposed to it. Um, I don't know what the BBBE stance on that is, but I left it out. Okay, so it's going to go into the um, 300 degree oven for 20 minutes and uh, keep an eye on them when it gets close to that point because they go from being done to too done fairly quickly. So I will be keeping an eye on it starting at about 15 minutes. Okay, so I took them out at 18 minutes. You wanna catch them just when they're starting to brown because if they get too brown, they also get dry. And uh, so they've been cooling off for a few minutes. They look just like in the picture and they look how I remember them. So I'll see if I can get one out without breaking it. So you have to remember with these buns and there being only the, you know, egg yolks, egg whites and salt, they're not going to be like the BBE buns. The BBE buns are soft, they have more structure, but they have egg white powder in them. Um, and these don't have any egg white powder, no protein powder, anything like that. So they're just being held together. That's why they're called cloud bread. They are light and fluffy like a cloud. Now I hope I'm not taking it out too soon because it does still feel a bit warm. But that's basically what it what it looks like. And let them kind of sit and, and dry out a little bit before you use them a, as a like a sandwich or bun, you know, how, however you're going to use it. Yeah, they're, I mean they're they're still warm. So I'm gonna leave I'm gonna take out this one and I'm gonna leave the rest. So that, you know, two of these would, would make a good hamburger once once they've kind of dried out and, and cooled off. The other thing I like about these is that they're also in keeping with my theme for staying on a budget this month. I worked out and so actually the butter mayo too I worked out the cost. Now I only made a half a recipe of the butter mayo and I have one and a quarter jars here plus I used three tablespoons in here. So the total cost of this mayo is $2.51. 
Now for a jar like this, that has, you know, this is uh, like a full um, eight ounce keto mayo is 10 bucks in, in the store. So, so there's a savings right there. These, because they don't have the expensive egg white powder and, and all that other stuff, the whole batch costs $2.08, 35 cents each. So uh, both of these things are very budget friendly, 100% BBBE compliant. And uh, you know, if you are one of those people who are out there and I get a lot of people who send me this message, I can't get egg white powder, what can I use? Um, take a look at these and give them a try. This was all we ever ate back in those early days before people started making all the breads and, and, and everything else. Um, so um, we were quite happy with it back then. And um, you know, I'm all about sometimes going back to the beginning, back to basics, use only what you need. And uh, these are perfectly fine, actually. <laughs> So give them a try and I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. I am, sorry, sorry. This is the part I always have trouble. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. <laughs>